Okay, I'm down here at CR Fireline. I've been buying, I've been buying fire hoses. Look, here we go. And here's Clary's. Clary's has run this business. Clary's is the owner. He's run this business for 47 years. Uh, and Clarence is setting me up with my hoses. I'm buying some more. I decided to put a hose at every tap. I have five taps all around my property. You'll see my video. And uh, I decided that, you know what? The more information I can give the public to stay safe, the better. I know that you're really not supposed to fight a fire. You're supposed to run away. But some people are going to be like me and stubborn and stay around and fight the fire. I've actually done that once when I was 16 when they didn't make you leave. Back then they were okay with letting 16 year olds hang around and help the firefighters. That wasn't lost yet. So tell me, how did you start this business? Okay, I was a firefighter in Boston for 25 years. Uh -huh. And during, during the daytime, I was a firefighter. At night, I was a police officer. Okay. But for, uh, for 25 years, I got hurt on a job. I came here to California. California was 25 years behind the codes. And so I started my own business because I was 20 years, 20, 25 years ahead of, uh, of uh, everybody else. Wow. So did you help sort of make the new codes here in California? No, no, no. no. You knew how to you yeah. knew how to comply. Yeah, right. And what's your main business here? I know you guys supply like buildings with these yeah. these hoses. Oh yes. And then you we, leave. How long are the you put these hoses brand new inside the buildings in the yeah. boxes? Yeah, right. And then uh, after so much time, they don't get used. But you have to replace them. How much time do they? Every five years. Okay, every five years. Right. So these hoses are basically five years old, right. except they've never even had water exactly. in them. Exactly, correct. Yes, yeah, so they're they're virtually new. Right. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yes. and so these hoses are like only seventy five bucks down here, yeah, right, yeah. and these really great nozzles. How much right. are those yeah, nozzles? Thirty five. Thirty five dollars for the nozzles, yeah, yeah. and so um, yeah, I've been buying the same setup for years. And we used, to, we used these things for grading, for when we do grading, we shoot the dirt down to get it to compaction. And so, so what else do you do? Do you do fire, fire extinguishers? Uh, we, uh, we do fire extinguishers, uh, sprinkler systems, fire hydrants, fire training, uh, all the underground to uh, put in the uh, fire sprinklers to the building, uh, uh, emergency lights, cabinets, uh, Wow. A anything you do with fire. That's great. We, so, we do it. Right. And then I just, I'm getting some stickers from you because yeah. I'm going to set up these. I'm going to buy these toolboxes, these red toolboxes. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Yes. And then I'm going to put them right, these hoses, brand new, yeah. in those toolboxes right next to where my taps are. Yeah. And I decided to make it real clear. If I'm not home, I want somebody to know what's in there, right? Exactly. So I'm buying a bunch of these stickers. Yeah, right, yeah. I'm going to put them on the red toolboxes. And they also sell all these different stickers. And so what I really want to show people is your museum. Okay, yeah. So we're going upstairs and look okay. at that next. Okay. Okay, cool. So Clarence, is that a statue of you up there yes. from Chicago? Yeah. Yeah. From, yeah. from, from, uh, uh, from Maine. Awesome. Yeah. Right on. So I told everybody in my last video that you guys have all kinds of cool stuff down here. And if you're into firefighting memorabilia, this is the place to come. Clarence has got all of it right here. This place is probably more fun to come to see the museum than just to uh, get all of the uh, stuff that you're gonna need to defend your property. Is this you, Clarence? Yeah. What happened there? There was a bad accident on 680, and then I was the first one on the scene. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's great. Did everybody come out okay? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, good, good, good. See, this is what I like about Clarence. Yeah, yeah. Clarence makes no mistakes. If you think he does, then you are mistaken. That's awesome. And here's a little article about Clarence here. We won't read the whole thing. But look at all this cool stuff he's got. He's got all this artwork of firefighting. And uh, so what, have you been interested in firefighting your whole life? Oh, yeah, oh yes, yeah. yeah? Yeah. What got you interested in firefighters? It's something every kid, when they see that thing running down the road, it's like, you, that looks exciting, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what do we have here? Uh, this is the 1906 oh, that's the earthquake, earthquake in San Francisco. Francisco. Yeah, wow. Look at this guy. He's got quite a view from right there. Um, yeah, that was quite a fire there. Yeah. 
So what do you think about these fires that are going on oh, right now? We have the second fire. largest, yeah, the yeah. second and largest. third largest yeah. fires in California history. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Active, but they're only like 15% contained. I, I, I said, yeah. After like five days. Yeah. What do you, what do you think about that? Oh, it's a disaster. Do you think that we're because of global warming? Do you think because no, of all the... Hell, forget the global warming. Yeah? Global warming. That's, that's What's your bad. opinion on... Uh, why, why are they so out of control yeah, now? Everybody's out there to make money. You think? Yeah. 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 I mean, it's crazy. It's like they say that these fires are... They're kind of coming faster and harder yeah. now. You think that's yeah. true? Oh, yeah. Definitely, yes. I know. We just... It's like 100 degrees out right yeah. now. You see how smoky it is with these fires going on. Yeah. And we, uh, we just came up the stairs here. I've been wearing plants out because I made them go look out in the, yeah. out in the back for yeah. these special nozzles that yeah. we... That, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and these here are uh, 1920 fire poles. I don't... What, that, well, that come from, from Pennsylvania. But there's only one thing missing. A, there's no hole in the floor. Oh, but no, no. We gotta get, what do you mean? You can't have a fire pole without yeah, a right, yeah. hole. Do you have do you have do you have exotic dancers come on? Oh no 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 no! no, no, no. But look at all the stuff he has oh, here. He's got all this cool stuff. He's got a funny awkward corner. It's not awkward anymore because he uses it for all this memorable. And this is actually the real deal, right? Where'd that yeah. come from? What what city? Uh, San Francisco. That's San Francisco. Yeah. yeah. So you, if there's a fire, uh, you pull that handle. Pull it, and it sends a signal to the fire department where. Where, where the boxes are located. Oh, really? Yeah. So they know exactly where that fire exactly, is. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. Wow. All right. Well, let's go see what else you have in here. There's all kinds of great stuff. Look at that beautiful painting right there. That, that, that truck is downstairs. That's the one we started with right there. Okay. And then we've got, look at, look at this boardroom. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's yeah. so, this is so cool, Clarence. This is amazing. I bet you make you make more money as a museum than yeah, you right. could selling hoses. Yeah. Yeah. So, what? Tell me about this thing. Where'd this thing come from? Okay. Uh, th th this here used to be a milk truck, but I turned it into a uh, to a fire truck. Wow, a milk truck? Yeah. So they actually drove this thing around? Oh no, 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 uh, no. no. This was just made. Just for fun. Yeah, yeah. it's like a bicycle grid. Yeah. All right. And then um, let's see what else he's got. Oh, he's got his patches up here. Yeah. Beautiful patches. So this is you. Yeah. Those are all the patches that you earn. Oh, no, 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 no. Those are just cool patches. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That, that, okay. that I collected. Yeah, these are just a collection. Yeah. Right, yeah. Okay. You didn't work for the Austria uh, Fire Department? No, no, oh. no. He's <laughs> been everywhere. No. And uh, it's got his bell here. Got another bell. All right, now let's look in here. Okay, and all these fire trucks, they're all filled up with liquor. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All filled up full of liquor. Yeah. So, so the trick is to come down here and buy your hose on Friday at 5 p.m.? You're right, yeah, right. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then I like you got to drink your beer out of yeah, here, yeah. right? You know? Well, these, are, these are really loud. What, that's probably like what, what, an 1880s replica? Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, something like that. And they thought they were really advanced. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, this is the fire bucket that they used to fight the fires in the 1800s. Oh my God, the bucket brigade. Yeah. Wow, it's amazing they could even put anything out. Yeah. See, now we have yeah. super tankers and everything. We still yeah, can't put yeah, it out. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. So, um, look at all this stuff. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and, uh, and uh, these are, are different types of fire <laughs> extinguishers that used to have the these are how called ball firefighters they used to throw the ball on the fire oh really so this is put it out this yeah. is like kind of like the stuff that the planes are dropping but yeah. you had to throw it like a grenade exactly, exactly right. and it would spread out and yeah and you had to be real careful not to break those yeah, right. on the way to the fire yeah, right, yeah. how did they how no, did they do that no those are in the houses or oh. or, also, or also the commercial building they used to hang up in the attic, well, I so, see. so if the attic caught a fire. This year has a spring on it, and, and it would really? automatically break break the glass, and then water would drop. That's amazing. That's like our yeah. modern day sprinklers. Yeah, yeah without, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So they would just so. Yeah. So what you said now? How would they drop? The, with, no, no, no. Sense no. the heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The heat 
it's got a lead uh, seal on it. When the heat hits it at 165, the lead would separate and the pin would hit the glass, break the glass, and the uh, water would uh, fall on a fire and uh, put it out. That's amazing. What, what year did they first have those? I think in the eight. But 1880s, 1890s. Uh, <laughs> that was probably an upgrade for yeah. some people, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. the rich people had that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. guys like Howard Hurst. Yeah. Um, but these are just beautiful. And you know what's so fun is the, yeah. is how beautiful they made these pieces back yeah, then. Yeah. It was almost like yeah. they were making art yeah, right, more exactly. so. than this is like a wrench for the fire yes. hydrant? For I, the fire hydrant? Exactly, yeah. correct. Okay. And then, like, what's this big thing in here? Is that a nozzle for a hose? Was this here? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. That's a that's a fire extinguisher. What what they had in there was water mixed with soda and acid, and on the top they had a little bottle of acid. Well, what did we do? It tips up this here upside down. Uh, the acid and the bigger soda, the water would mix together. It builds up its own pressure, and then they would fight the fire with it. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. So, I, wait, 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 I know what that is. Yeah, what that is a nozzle. I've got some of those. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's already memorabilia. Yeah. And then here's some of the old uh, different yeah. canisters for yeah. the fire extinguishers. Yeah, yes, they were called soda and acid. Soda and acid. And acid. Yeah. Right on. Is that like a firefighter hat right there? Is that? that doesn't look like a firefighter hat. No, no. no. That's just a random hat. Yeah. Um, yeah, right on. You've even got firefighter chess. Yeah. Whoever knew there'd be firefighter yeah. chess. There's the firefighter dog. Is there like a name for that dog that you always see? Yeah. No? No. Just any old name? Yeah, yeah. Right on. Well, this is great, man. I really appreciate the okay. tour. I really love what you're doing. Here, I I'll, 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 oh, there's I'll, more. There's I'll, always I'll, more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I knew Clarence would have all kinds of stuff up his sleeve. Yeah. Here we go. Let's see what we have back here. There's, oh, yeah, it just keeps going on and on. This is Clarence's office, obviously. <laughs> this is awesome. Wow. Look at the facial. Look at that. Look at that. Um, here's another one. Wow, this is quite an artist who put this together. Um, who? This was obviously one art, artist. Yes, to, right, yes. Do you know the name of the artist? No. No? no? Yeah, this is really impressive. This office, just the overall look. I'm going to get the overall look of this office. We'll do a big sweep with Clarence in his office. This is his domain. Every man has his place in the universe. And this is Clarence's place in the universe right here. Get back over here. And it looks to me like um, Clarence, if he wanted to, he could be a sniper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> What were you doing there? That's just a... That, 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 that was just practice. Uh, practice wow. Practice in, That's I, a on pretty, the range. pretty big yeah. gun. Well, this is fantastic. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to go back home and get all my hoses set up. And, okay. and I'm probably... Uh, you never know. I might, might still have a house because of you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I really appreciate it. Thanks for the tour. Okay. All right. All right. All right. But I'll show you. Oh, one more. One more. <laughs> There's more. There's more. I'll show you. There's more. Something special. Okay, something special. Here we go. This is 9-11. Oh, yeah. Right? Uh, I, I, this is where... The, That's where the building was. Yeah, right. And they right. shot the beams up. And this is the flag that I had made. Oh, you had that made yeah, for 9-11? Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. 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 In my garden, yeah. I actually created on the on nine twelve. Yeah. The next day, oh, yeah. I created a nine eleven memorial in my garden. Wow! And I had these small little uh, clay sort of pipes. Yeah. That sort of were the shape of the buildings. Yeah, that was a bad fire. The firefighters really yeah. put themselves out on that one. Okay. Well, I'm going to end on a shot of beautiful the, canister here. Yeah. Got to come down, see Clarence, buy some fire hoses from, or at least look at his museum. Okay, there they are. All the stickers that Clarence sold me down there. They actually weren't cheap. <laughs> but uh, they're really good stickers. So I don't know where else you'll get these things. But uh, anyway, so what do we have here? We have a 21-inch steel toolbox purchased from Harbor Freight. 
um, tools and um, this is the perfect size. What you'll find if you try to like buy stuff sold by the professional firefighting agencies that sell to the fire departments, you'll realize that it's astronomically expensive. Um, but I devised this system here whereby I just got this 21 inch toolbox. And as you can see, it can house a um, full size 75 foot hose. And there's actually, that's the connector piece. There's actually a nozzle buried down in there and it fits just perfectly. I'm also going to get a pre-printed out laminated um, direction sheet and put it in here. And that is like where a map of the property where the tap points are, where the boxes are. But right next to each tap point, I'm gonna have these boxes out during the fire season, leave them out there. So they're just always ready to go. Well, you know, springtime, uh, May or so, we'll bring the hoses out, test the hoses, make sure that they work, and, uh, and put them in the box, keep the sun off them, keep the critters off them. And then, you know, come November, when the fire season is over, before the rains come, I will take those and put those back in the garage and store them away for the season. Uh, then, uh, so we have five of these. We're gonna have a fire hose at every point. And if you've ever been in a fire before that caught you off guard, the one that caught me off guard was uh, just a complete surprise. <laughs> and it was raging and rushing, uh, just like a, a blitz from the Dallas Cowboys uh, before you knew it, they were on top of you. And in that kind of situation, you either your hoses are either ready or you run one or the other. Or maybe you just run anyway. But, um, but the only chance you have is if you have this stuff ready to go. You're not going to have a lot of time to go and like, you know, find your hose, find your connector piece, find your nozzle and all that stuff. So, you know, if somebody's on the property, they'll see this. We might even make a sign on the property showing where uh, these items are located on a map uh, at some point, right at the front door or something. But uh, anyway, they're there, firefighters show up. They don't even have to uh, hook up to the fire hydrant or their trucks. They literally can just grab the hose, hook it up and go. And uh, that's pretty much the deal. And you'll see what I've done here is I've peeled off the sticker from the Harbor Freight, which is on the lower right on the front. And that's why I put the sticker here because it leaves kind of a residue. It's not so pretty. So we cover that up with the fire hose sticker. And on the other side, uh, we're able to put it more centered like that on the back side because the back side also has a sticker right here that I take off has the same residue on it. So we cover that up and actually the residue adhesive helps to hold our sticker on there. What's interesting about a 21 inch toolbox is uh, <laughs> it basically says, which I can't read right now because I'm too far away. <laughs> it basically tells you all the hazards of using a toolbox and you have to use extreme caution in using a toolbox. So keep that in mind. You know, don't worry about the fire so much. Worry about the operation of the toolbox that can uh, severely injure you, which is why they have this uh, warning label here. You gotta love safety culture. Anyway, stay safe out there and uh, I'm not saying you should fight the fire, but if you are gonna fight it, these are some tips.